here to discuss on my YouTube channel some extremely important issues which we face in the world today with one of the most well-known and respected leftist activists, Chuck the Cock. My name is Chuck. I disagree with everything Andrew says, and I love watching my wife with other men. Today we're going to be discussing gun control. I'm an advocate for weapons to be held by citizens. I'm an advocate for the Second Amendment. I have my own reasons for that, which we're going to discuss uh, very shortly. As I said, I happen to be the most knowledgeable human that's ever existed, ever. However, in the wake of the school shooting, unfortunately, Chuck the Cock disagrees with me. Andrew, I believe that if you took guns away from people with guns, then nobody would have guns. Okay, well, that's a very interesting argument, but like most things the left try and present, you have to keep things realistic. No. Okay. Well, that makes it slightly more difficult. When we took drugs away from everybody, are there still drug addicts? Which means that when you pass legislation in an attempt to ban something, very often things still exist. So what happens when you ban guns? is that the people who obey the law don't have guns. It's kind of like what they're doing with the censoring, right? Mm -hmm. the sen they're, they're trying to censor us. What do we do? We try to get around it with cold words, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, okay, we can't say this, mm -hmm. but we're still going to say yeah. it in another way. Mm -hmm. I can't get that weed. I'm going to try to get it some, mm -hmm. uh, you know, in some other way. That's basically what he's saying. Very often, things still exist. So what happens when you ban guns is that the people who obey the law don't have guns and the people who don't respect the law continue to source a weapon and use a weapon. And if you're about to go into a school and shoot 20 people, you don't care about the law. Therefore, passing a law saying it's illegal isn't going to help. Murder is already illegal. Carrying a gun in a gun-free zone is already illegal. This guy's broken it that, up. That's so true. Yeah, I know. Murder is illegal. And has it been happened. for a long time. Happens. Almost every day. <laughs> laws committing his act. He shows he doesn't respect laws and passing any new law telling him that it's illegal what he did is not going to stop school shootings. But if you made guns illegal, how would he get a gun? He wouldn't have a gun. He would have a gun, for the same reason that when you make drugs illegal, people can still source drugs. And people say, oh, but you make guns illegal, they'll be much harder to get hold of. Every 17-year-old retard I've ever met in my life manages to go out on the weekend and get their hands on illicit, illegal substances for the sake of doing them with a bottle of vodka and acting like a spastic. If 17-year-old idiots can source cocaine, I'm sure they can source a firearm when they're desperate to shoot everyone in their school. But in Australia, they made guns illegal, and there has been a mass shooting since. Two points. Firstly, fuck Australia. And secondly, <laughs> That's not nice. secondly, Chuck, we need to discuss that the gun penetration of Australia compared to the gun penetration of America are completely different things. People compare these two countries like they're exactly the same. At the time that guns were banned in Australia, it didn't have the gun penetration of the United States, and it had a consensus from the entire population to ban guns. America has neither of those things. If you ban guns, that doesn't mean all the guns vanish. They don't evaporate, they still exist. Plus you have a huge portion of the population which isn't gonna give their guns away, which means that when you ban guns, even if by some miracle you could get a law that blanket banned guns, there'd still be guns everywhere. And because it's against the law, the only people who are gonna get yeah, hold of because, guns- Yeah, because the good people, they will not be able to get guns to defend themselves, mm -hmm. right? And only really a twisted motherfucker really is gonna get a gun to kill somebody, right? Yeah. So that twisted motherfucker is still gonna go to length to get his gun. Mm, absolutely. Even when the guns are illegal. Mm. And now the only thing is the bad guys are still having the guns and the good people are now defenseless. And also I think that <clears throat> you know the classic saying that guns don't keep kill people people kill people so if you don't have guns to do you know bad things with you're gonna find something else yeah whatever you can get your hands on yeah guns and trade the guns are criminals meaning that law-abiding citizens can no longer protect themselves against a firearm look you lost me at penetration but what about that kid who was in the school see you weren't there i wasn't there david hogg his name is now he's a hero He's going around the country. He's refusing to go to school until gun laws are passed. Now, what about that is not smart. David Hogg is a twerp. 
The word dork was invented for David Hogg. David Hogg gets bullied in school with or without a gun. I was bullied in school. Because he's a little dweeb. And people like me who understand the real world don't get bullied. David Hogg gets bullied. He's just happy for his fucking five seconds of attention. And also don't forget dork. why they have the Second Amendment. People always think that it's to defend myself against, you know, criminals or just having for fun or whatever. But it's also to defend yourself from threats, uh, foreign and uh, domestic. domestic. You know, if, as, as they say, you know, if all the people in America has guns, it's not going to be so easy for the police force. Yeah. Uh, but here in Sweden, they can take us over how like that because we don't have anything to defend ourselves with. That's, we cannot even have pepper spray here. That's now. how they like it. Okay. Because then you do as we say, or you don't do anything. Yeah loser and things can go on there and say Ooh, no guns with the same shit arguments you have explain to me how if we ban all the guns but guns still exist and the only people who trade the guns are criminals meaning that law-abiding citizens can't have guns explain to me how a law-abiding citizen is supposed to protect themselves well you know and, and also let me just say this if i was an evil government mm -hmm. wanting to get rid of the guns what would i do if i'm already evil mm -hmm. hire some mercenaries or psychopath mm -hmm. Go out there, you know, like the like like the Joker in Batman. <laughs> All right, go do some shootings, so we get the excuse to do this exactly. law, so we can take all of the guns okay. from everybody. Absolutely. Ah, yes, perfect plan. <laughs> and these lefty morons will back us up with their demonstrating and crying and crying. Arguments are really invalid. I think you are just heavily funded by the NRA. I think this YouTube channel is funded by the NRA. And you know how it is. They want the guns in the hands of everyone. Babies. Every single teacher. These people are crazy. That's not true. The NRA do not want guns in the hands of everybody. The NRA believes you should be able to protect yourself. The only way to protect yourself against a firearm, unfortunately, is with a firearm. We've all seen enough movies. No one's Neo. Bulletproof vests. Okay. If someone... Bulletproof vests in schools. If someone had a gun, and you didn't have a gun, and you called the police, would you expect the police officer to have a gun? To protect you with? If it were legal. So it's okay for the police to have guns, to use guns against guns? Yes. But it's not okay for you to do that? It's not okay for you And to also, what happens when the police comes with a gun? Mm -hmm. The gun guy becomes way more cautious all of a sudden. He was very cocky before when he knew the victims did not have a gun then somebody else enters the scene which you do know has a gun and now you're a little bit more cautious right what does that tell you if everybody had guns even the murderer would be more you know uh. like uh, hey i better not make a bad mistake here i might be off before i can off somebody you know what I mean? do that so who people like you have mental health issues I'm perfectly fine. So who do you believe should be allowed to have weapons? The army and the maybe police. The army and the police. The, the ones who aren't racist. Okay. So the army and the police only are the people who are allowed guns. But criminals don't give a shit. So they break into someone's house and there's no army and there's no police there. And you are completely, you're just a helpless victim and there's nothing you can do. Helpless? Them. I can call the police. What? Okay. Next question. <laughs> when we have a bank or we have a president, or we have anything really important we have to protect, what do we protect it with? Well, I don't think you should protect the president. I don't like him. He's a Trump. rude misogynist, and we should go back to Obama four more years. All right, last question. Tell me how passing a, 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 a law saying guns aren't allowed will make all guns evaporate and make criminals no longer use guns. Because, one second, in Mexico, guns are illegal, and it has some of the largest firearm deaths in the world. Have you ever been to Mexico? Yes. Shit. My name is <laughs> Chuck. I'm a registered Democrat. I voted for Hillary Clinton in the last election. I'm a vegan, a gun control advocate, and a cuck. I love to see my wife fuck other dudes. <laughs> and I had a con uh, that was good. Uh, good one. Good one. <coughs> I like that they went into, uh, you know, a play here. Uh, we should do that one, uh, one time. Mm -hmm. I'm the lefty, you're the righty, and sometimes you're the righty, mm -hmm. and I'm the lefty, and see what comes out, mm -hmm. you know? Because you, if you're going to do that play, you're going to have to actually put yourself exactly. in the mind of that retard, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You're going to have to 
lower your IQ mm -hmm. below the ground, uh, down the sewers, straight to hell, you know? Uh, oh, yeah, good. Uh, yeah. Do you have uh, anything no, to cool. add? No, no, no. Fine. Good.